Spirit, welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so you've got a lot of career focus in this particular read. It's, you've got the exaltation, which is a lot of money coming in. You've got Mooney in Taurus. And Mooney in Taurus is exalted, so what are the benefits bring, that Taurus has, which is about money and wealth and, um, you know, uh, personal status, uh, is improved. So it looks like a lot of wealth and, um, you know, a lot of fortune coming in for you over there. You've been focusing a lot on yourself over there. You've got Mars there in uh, Leo. So this is about focusing on yourself, on your work. Uh, uh, you know, you've got that sun over there that's signifying the job that you've been doing, getting up early in the morning and, you know, putting in that effort over there. And it's about to generate a lot of finances or it's, uh, you know, a lot of uh, rewards. And you're going to be very, very fulfilled. So your ship's coming in over here. You can see this big money bag there and the ship bring it in, bringing it in. And you've got Saturn there in uh, um, Sagittarius there. So, you know, you've been working a lot for this money. There might be some kind of international business that you've been involved in, but it's dead definitely going to bring you a very fulfilling career, a lot of fulfillment coming in over there, but a lot of wealth coming in as well. So something that you've been working on is about to pay off big time. Now you've got the status card over here. So even your reputation has been improving uh, in the past. Maybe a lot of people coming to know you. You've got Jupiter, which is, uh, you know, the planet of expansion. And you've got Taurus. Uh, it's sitting in Taurus there. So, you know, a lot of acclaim has been coming in. So a lot of recognition for whatever you've been doing. And a lot of publicity as well. So something you've been doing has brought, generated a lot of, um, well, publicity, uh, a lot of fortune, a lot of uh, fame from whatever you've been working on. And it's improved your status as well. Uh, and that's been the thing that's going to be, um, you know, generating all that money for you. So uh, it looks like, you know, um, as they say, you may have hit pay dirt there. So it looks like, you know, whatever you have been working on has generated, uh, you know, whatever you've been promoting is now getting recognized and it's starting to generate a lot of wealth because you've got that ship coming in and that big, uh, you know, bag of money coming in as well. So well done. Now, going into the future, there's an affair coming in over here, so there might be some love coming in for you. Uh, so this, whatever your claim is and this money is going to be able to attract that love that you have been looking for. Uh, and maybe you're going to be taking a little bit of a holiday with this particular person. You've got this escape card over here. So it looks like, you know, uh, things are coming to an end. You've got Mars there in uh, Pisces. <coughs> So this looks like, you know, you're ending old situations. You're moving away from it. Uh, you might be doing some travel as well over here uh, and uh, maybe with this particular person. So, or even whatever this travel is that brings in this new love for you. So uh, whatever this fame is and money, it's going to open the doors for a lot of travel. And this is going to bring in, uh, you know, that new love that you have been seeking. It might be, a, you know, a soulmate connection to coming in as well with that. So those are the energies for that week. <clears throat> so I'm going to just use the rack and travel for the main read. So the bottom of the deck, you've got the Eight of Rods over here. So this could be about messages coming in, but this could be about a lot of travel. So you might be doing a lot of international travel. Uh, and, you know, all the problems that you have been facing, things are now starting to, you know, uh, you're starting to move away from it, rise above the situation. But like I say, there's a, there's probably a lot of travel coming in for you. You might be doing a lot of projects as well, handling a lot of projects as well with that rods car, uh, eight of rods, um, and uh, you know being very successful at it. So if you're you've been going through a period of being stagnant or things not moving on for you, it looks like things are starting to change, big changes, lots lots of options, and you're going to be very very busy as well with this eight of rods. Now you've got the um, Ace of Coins over here and the Strength card. So uh, this is a new offer coming in for you here. You can see this old lady's bringing in something for this couple here. 
So where you have been down and out financially, it looks like something brand new coming in and bringing in a lot of abundance as well. And, you know, you are taking whatever situation you have been dealing with. You've got the strength card of here. Now, you could be dealing with a Leo person, but this is about you taking control of that situation. And you can see this woman's, uh, you know, walking with a lot of confidence there. So whatever is coming in this brand new, you know, uh, money, it's going to probably be a lot of money because you've got the strength card, which signifies a lot of something. Um, and it's coming in, you know, somebody's making that offer to you or giving it to you. Uh, so this could be a new job where you are in a position of authority and, you know, you are, you're going to have to display a lot of confidence. It could be something that you're, you know, that you're going to be doing where you're in the spotlight as well. And uh, a lot of people uh, looking up to you for, um, you know, that uh, advice or whatever you're doing, you're going to be in spotlight. This is the card ruled by Leo. So it's almost like you're in the sunlight. Uh, and uh, this is going to generate a lot of finances as well and going to bring in a lot of travel as well for you. So it looks like you're dealing with a bigger audience. Um, so in the past, you've got the Queen of Cups over here. So you have been feeling a bit lonely and depressed and miserable and very emotional about things as well in this past year. And uh, you've got that Ace of Rods. Something brand new has started. So you did start a new project uh, in the last uh, few months over there, something brand new had started for you. Um, this could have even been a new relationship, uh, you know, that Rod's card. Uh, but this is generally about new, a new project. It, this is pro possibly on the work front. And it seems like it's having a good payout as well. So whatever this new project is that you started, you know, it was quite a stable kind of thing. Um, but it's starting to generate a lot of money and a lot of uh, uh, fame as well. Now, on your mind, you've got the Four of Cups of this. There's this new offer that is coming in, and you might be thinking of not actually accepting this new offer that comes in for you uh, because, you know, you're ignoring it almost. Uh, so um, this might... You're thinking about it. So whatever this offer is, you might be thinking of actually not accepting it, but it might be something well worth accepting because once this offer comes in, this looks like it's going to be the thing that generates the finances for you. It could be an offer for study. It could be an offer because there's a cups card over here or even an offer to teach. Um, but it's something that you know you need to consider and maybe even go for it. So going into the future, you've got the Emperor card over here, and you, this is you taking control. Now the Emperor is usually, you know, it's quite a, it's, it's a wealth card as well. So being in charge of a lot of people, being a leader as well, and setting down, um, you know, the standards of how, how things are done. So it looks like you're taking on that particular role. Also being in charge of a lot of finances as well. Uh, so it looks like you're going to be setting the trend over here and taking on a leadership role, and that's coming in. And this might be the offer that you're even not, even planning to take on but it seems like if you do take it on it's going to give you um, you know a lot of fame and a lot of acclaim as well and a lot of followers as well so uh, you know something that's going to make you very very famous now you need to let go of that past you've got the death card over here so it is time to just you know cut out the past and move on uh, and uh, you know start a brand new cycle really uh, and you're at that point where your endings these are endings so uh, what's going on around you? You've got the Knight of Pentacles. You are, have been working very, very hard. It looks like the money is coming in as well. So money is coming in pretty quickly here, uh, you know, coming in with that Knight of Pentacles. But this is about you also working very, very hard to generate that money. So whatever this offer is, you know, instead of having to slave so hard for it, because that's what you seem to have been doing, it looks like you do need to accept this offer that's coming in because it's going to give you that position of authority and, and it's going to generate the money that you need. So in your hopes and fears, you do want to start something brand new with that full car. So you want to change direction, maybe start a new cycle in your life. You want, uh, you know, something to come off it. And you're not really listening to what anybody's got to say. You are on your own path right now. So going into the future, you've got the Hermit card over here, the Seven of Swords, and you've got the World card over here. So, uh, you know, you can see that this Hermit card is walking up away from the Seven of Swords over here. Now, the Seven of Swords is generally a kind of deception, deceit, uh, you know, being very impulsive when you make decisions as well with that Seven of Swords. Uh, and the Hermit is walking away from it. So it looks like you have turned your back on any kind of lies and deceit that you've been facing. There could have even been a legal situation that you're managing to turn your back on and walk away from it. 
you've got a lot of insight. You are traveling your own path right now. Uh, and you've ended things with that world card over here. Now, the world card also talks about getting a lot of fame, a lot of recognition for whatever you've done, and also a lot of success coming in over here. So, you know, once you start walking away from things and with that hermit card being focused on your work, it looks like a lot of fame and acclaim coming in for you. Uh, recognition almost on that international front as well. It is a card ruled by Saturn, and Saturn does rule work. So international fame coming in for there, for you there. So, you know, you do need to let go of that past. And it looks like whatever's coming in is going to put you, in, you know, well in front of everybody else. And it's going to give you, um, you know, that leadership role and a lot of finances coming in as well. Um, and you just have to act with confidence, really, with that um, lion, uh, the, the, the strength card over there. And you're going to be pretty busy. Pretty busy, lots of communication, lots of travel as well, meeting a lot of people with that rods. And a lot of projects on the go as well. Okay, so I'm just going to draw some cards from the uh, Animal Tarot. So you've got the Two of Spring over here. This is generally a card about the crossroads in life. Your vision, creativity, and dedication to your cause have brought you great success. In fact, it will be in your best interest to get a partner to assist you in your endeavors or expand the number of people helping you. So you are at that crossroads. There are new projects that you are going to pursue and maybe a new partnership coming in as well on that front. Then you've got the life experience card which says important changes are coming into your life that will require you to take action. Don't hesitate to move in new directions you know are right for you. So you are moving on. Big changes coming in for you. You might need to be, uh, you know, you might partner, sh partner off with somebody in order for you to make this project work. But uh, a lot of recognition, big transformations coming in over there. And a lot of abundance. This field is full of wheat here. And you've got the six of summer, which says the love and care of children could become an important part of your life or people from your childhood may return. Old memories can be healed and possibly old childhood dreams are ready to be renewed. Now there's a new moon in this particular card and you moving on. You might be taking on that mentoring role, um, you know, training people, uh, tutoring people. Um, and this could also be, you know, you focusing a little bit on your children, a well, a lot more on your children as well. Uh, also, this also card speaking about people from the past cropping up. So maybe this two of spring is somebody coming in from the past uh, to help you out. So it's maybe something that you've worked with uh, on this, maybe in this new project. So uh, try not to get trapped too much in the past on, you know, what, thinking about the past. You need to move on from that. The six of summer also does say, you know, which is the Six of Cups, being too focused on the past. It's it's time to change your focus right now. And, you know, new beginnings coming in for you over there with that Ace of Pentacles. So it looks like whatever you're doing, whatever projects you're doing, you might need you might partner, partner off with somebody in order for you to make it successful. But as far as work goes, it's going to bring in a resounding success uh, here. Uh, and, you know, you are very, very focused on that work, but you've got the World Card. So you you are going to be very, very uh, successful in what you do, even with that Emperor card taking on very much that leadership role. You can see he's got a lot of people following him over there. And this card is a card about a lot of material wealth coming in. You've even got that Knight of Pentacles bringing in the wealth over there. But the way you can to do it is to actually let go of the past. And whatever new offers come in, it's important for you to consider them and accept them. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now.